All right, you are still watching Ways. Um, so, National Pumpkin Day is celebrated on October 26th to celebrate or an, an appreciate pumpkins for their culinary and decorative uses. Pumpkins can be used to savor, uh, in savory rather, and sweet dishes and are also popular um, autumn, um, autumn beverages and um, Halloween decorations. So, um, happy National Pumpkin Day. Why is it celebrated close to Halloween? Soup? And I know they used to do Halloween with that now. But I want to say that have you tasted pumpkin soup? No. Hi. I have a feeling shout it's out. like very sweet. Oh my god. Shout out to and my I don't like no, sweet. My, no, it's not sweet. It's There's what? just something unique about that soup. Shout yeah. out to my my blood, my sister, Ruth Lagarde. You know she's 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 French now. Mm -hmm. But what she's, what she's done with some of the dishes is she's infused a bit of the Nigerianness. I told her, mm. go and open a restaurant. You will sell out. Like, yeah, Isn't really they nine blood? Five. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. there's this particular pumpkin soup she makes. Mm. Ah, I'm like, literally, every day I wake up some days, I'm just craving that soup. It's so nice. Oh, wow. Like, the, I don't know how to explain it, but that pumpkin soup is the best. Mm. So I, I think I like pump because of that. Too. Any other thing I've not tasted pumpkin, but I that soup. I think I like, for me I it would have it. made sense if we had some pumpkin in the house or some of this pumpkin soup for us that we, we haven't. But we, we can't exactly tell. <laughs> yeah, sorry, no. What <laughs> pumpkin? Well, we are looking soup. like pumpkin today because of the color of it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. we have a pumpkin live, <laughs> live pumpkin in the building. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I, I, have, I don't think okay. I've tasted it, but I'm I'm sure it would be a delight because every time I see it like mm. towards Halloween and all that, I'm always wondering how what it tastes like because yeah. you know more often than not you see it with from a different from a decorative point of oh, view, yeah. mm -hmm. so you really you you're wondering it's just like seeing continuously seeing like a watermelon dog in and everything mm. where I so. You always wonder, you just wonder, okay, what did what it taste like? It? Yeah. It's not something that we have growing here. Mm -hmm. so, and we don't, no, but funny enough. I'm sure it can be grown, but it's not. She used to it when she was in, in Lagos, in Nigeria. I don't know how this Pumpkin is grown. not, it doesn't. Mm. It's not even water, just like red oranges, like yeah. orange oranges. She goes to the but, supermarket. So she buys the imported them, yeah. ones. So, I mean, yeah. but the, the soup is amazing. In fact, eh, because of my sister's um, skills, Christmas and all these things like this, the in-laws refuse to cook because you know the 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 food right mm -hmm. they make is bland, <laughs> you know. So it's just it's, it's just there. Really nice. No, I, not the truth. Even they they said they know they don't abandon their food. <laughs> <laughs> they are always waiting for her to, to come and cook Christmas food because literally their food is bland. It's like kind of like there's no f you know Nigeria. Ha, we, we have, have food. Ah, no no no. We Our foods we are. Like very flavorful, very mm -hmm. very rich, very seasoned, you know, so very seasoned, well, mm -hmm. well yeah, seasoned. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, it's when it, you travel around you realize. Give it that, to uh, us. Give it to us. Uh, yeah, give it to us. You yeah. you are missing a lot from I'm home. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so what do you find for us, Angie? Hmm. <laughs> so my news story is about the you know the alleged uh, suspected Yahoo boy who allegedly slaughtered mm. his unicorn Girl girlfriend. girlfriend in Port Harcourt. So a man identified as Collins has been arrested for allegedly killing his girlfriend, identified as Justina, along uh, Road 15, NTA Road, Port Harcourt. According to reports, Collins was apprehended uh, by his estate security personnel when he was trying to dispose her corpse after killing and extracting her eyes and breasts. Following the alarm, uh, following the alarm raised by the security personnel, um, eyewitnesses stormed the, sus the suspect's apartment and found Justina's slaughtered body parts in sacks dripping okay. with blood. Justina was a 300-level university, 300-level university um, student of Podakot um, before yeah, her premature yeah. demise. Jesus. So um, the state police uh, command is yet to comment on the incident. You know, a couple of days ago, this thing has been in the news for a while. Mm -hmm. A lot of killings, boyfriends killing their girlfriends, some um, suspected to be Yahoo uh, boys, and for whatever reason, some other ones maybe a ritual killing or everything. But it's always termed the same way. It's always mm -hmm. targeted at the same thing. So at the end of the day, her eyes and her breasts were removed. And obviously, that's 
Mm. You know, that's some level of ritual this is, this is killing. Really it's just amazing how rampant this mm. is becoming mm -hmm. and how badly people really want to either get rich or die trying. Mm. Because at this rate, when you have committed a crime like this, it's die trying, really? Mm -hmm. Because you're going to jail when you get caught? It's a 50-50. Mm. You, you either understand? get away with it or you're You caught. either get away with it or, and hardly do you get away with it because right. somehow it will catch up with mm. you. So. Mm -hmm. This is an unfortunate thing. Um, there were, I think, a few days ago, uh, there were videos of her last days with her boyfriend. I think there was a video that came out of two days before, you know, she was declared missing and only for her to be found. You can imagine how many days she... That's my thought process. You can imagine how many days she has been in his apartment mm. for him to have performed all this because all this was not overnight. She has been... I think she has been missing for about three or four days. And I think I, I heard it was her mom that raised the alarm. Yes, so. because she hadn't been seen mm. after, you know. This is crazy. You house. know the other story that we had taken? Um, yeah. They apprehended the yeah, guy the, in, um, was it in Kenya now? I was trying to was, find the place. Uh, they, ap they, ap they apprehended him. Yeah. Because that one even came out on social media to say mm. he killed his, uh, her, his so girlfriend. So he left evidence, yes. Sad, very sad. Very sad. Please, I want to speak to young girls. Be careful who you date. Honestly, be careful. Because right now, when I see the way young girls go out, like you're, you're kind of like reckless. You're really reckless with your life. Because, you know, sometimes we treat people the way we are, not the way they are. Because some, if you really look deep, you will see some of these traits in, in, in people. Mm -hmm. I, I'm being honest, right? So please, be very careful who you hang out with. I mean, not be by force to come out. Stay in your house. Honestly. And the kind of person you date, some of these things. No, I'm telling you, these signs are there. They want to wear Gucci slippers. What's your problem? Okay. I'm Birkin bag. Uh, <laughs> no, well, they don't get to the Birkin bag. They end up in bags dripping with blood. But they are fire. Yeah. Sad. It's very it's sad. It's just very, very amazing sad. what people do. Mm. Very sad. So, answer your story. Oh, yeah. So, um, Femi Otelola, business mogul, uh, gifted $1 million each to 750 students of Augustine University on Thursday. That was when he was inaugurated as the chancellor of the institution. Where was I? You want to go back to school? I want to go back to Augustine is, is like University. Me, <laughs> I think I want to read the masters. In that school, right? <laughs> but I think you already missed it. Because it was, I mean, he was inaugurated, and uh, that was today. So that was earlier today. And so um, 750 students wow. each got 1 million. And hmm. so that's a total of 750 million. And then he went on to say... Um, I'll read what he said. Today, I was officially inaugurated as the Chancellor of Augustine University. I strongly believe in transforming establishments that I'm associated with. Therefore, to commemorate my appointment and in recognition of the harsh economic situation in our country, I gave a gift of one million to each of the 750 students. I hope this donation of 750 million naira assists the plight of the parents of our students in this difficult time. Signed F or Tedola. F O. Ah, this is so like this is so Did you um, say considerate. He was made vice Chancellor? Yes, Chancellor. Yeah. Vice Chancellor, yeah. Of so the, well, that's interesting. Congratulations. Yeah, that's to, quite interesting. Yeah. VC of the yeah. university. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. All right, so the House of Rep members on Wednesday to yesterday that they rejected a motion urging members to adopt at least one public school in their localities for the purpose of paying registration fees for the students sitting um, the unified tertiary matriculation exam. Um, the WIEC, that's the West African Senior um, Certificate Examination, and of course the National Examination Council, that's NECO, WIEC, and JAMP, and UTME. Mm -hmm. So trouble started when a member representing ASACO Federal Constituency in Edo State Anna Mero Dekeri moved the motion on the need to compel JAMP, WAEC, and NECO examination bodies to register students for free in 2023 to 2024 examination exercise. Um, he, uh, he premised his motion on the need to assist poor parents in the face of harsh economic realities in the country. So on one hand, Femi Otadala is gifting a million naira to 750 people. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, our reps are fighting against paying, uh, what's it called? Giving um, Jam, WIEC, and um, UTME for free. for free. Interesting. How much is Now I'll ask my sister. Nicole, how, how much, much is, is the registration? How much is it? But we're buying cards. Yeah, we're do you understand? Uh, that's why I took the story now. That's, that's why I took the story. So we'll take a break. <laughs> 
let's discuss the SUV. Since people don't want to do my egg for free, at least let's discuss SUV. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>